G'day guys, it's Justin here with All Things Outdoors and today I'm going to show you how to make really good coffee when you're out camping in the bush. So let's get to it. So what I use to make coffee out in the bush is obviously a burner of some kind. I like to use this little hiking burner because it's nice and easy to carry. Um, you'll need some sort of thermometer to get the milk at the right temperature. Um, what's pretty important is a way to stir the milk so that it doesn't curdle or I'll get lumpy. So I bought one of these little um, uh, whizzing stirrer things that you can put into the pot while you're heating the milk. Um, what I've found is one of these Turkish pots is really, really good both for heating the water and for heating the milk up. It's stainless steel so it, um, it won't rust, it won't, uh, it's easy to clean up afterwards. And probably the most important component of uh, making good coffee out in the bush is one of these Wakako uh, mini presso uh, espresso makers. And it uses these little coffee pods. You can get them for all different types of coffee pods but I use the, the Caf Italy style pods. So this is the one I've chosen and it retails for around the $50 to $60 mark, so not terribly expensive. So what we're going to do first is just basically boil up some water. So while the uh, water's boiling, we can uh, prep the, the wakako for the pod. So basically you just unscrew the, the front piece off, throw your pod in there, screw it back on, you'll hear a pop, that's the, the pod um, getting pierced. And then all we're going to do is wait for the hot water to put in the tank here at the back, and then we can filter it into the coffee cup. Alright, so our water's come to the boil, so we can switch that off. Now we take the tank off the Wakako, pour our water into the tank. And screw it onto the press. There it is, it's ready to go. So you're going to unlock the, the uh, piston. And then we can start filtering the coffee into the cup. Now the tank only gives you about 30 or 40 mils of water, so what I like to do to get a bigger coffee is take the tank off, refill it again, and pump it again. You can get a double sized tank for these Wakakos, which I think I might actually get, but um, we'll make this process a lot simpler. And yeah, then we can filter it again. Alright, that's the coffee filtered, so now we can set that aside and start to heat the milk. So you can use any milk that you like for this. I like the, the long life stuff because it keeps better out of the bush. And then pour, depending on the size of your coffee cup, probably about 300 mils. You don't want it to fill it up too much because obviously we're going to froth it up and you could get milk going everywhere. Um, so the next step is to throw our thermometer on and then we can start it up. Now you want to put the burner on a really low heat because you don't want the milk to heat up too quickly because it will curdle. And the next step is to uh, put the, the milk frother in. The way I like to do it is to uh, vary it between at the bottom and at the top because you want to keep it near the bottom so it stops the milk burning at the bottom but you also want to get the air into the top of it to, to froth the milk up. And then what I'm doing is I'm just watching for the, the temperature gauge to get to 65 degrees Celsius. All 
all right we're at 65 degrees so we'll shut that down turn off the machine and there you can see the beautiful foamy milk I'm going to pour it straight into our coffee cup beautiful foamy barista made coffee Ooh, yeah, that's good. so there you have it guys that's how I make a beautiful barista style coffee when I'm out in the bush so I'll leave links down in the description of all of the equipment that I use to make coffee out in the bush and um, thanks for watching and we'll see you later